G'day everyone, Tim from vMix here. Every so often we get a comment on a random YouTube video asking how do drone in vMix? So I thought I'd quickly show you how we get live drone footage into our live streams. Now if you are looking to get a consumer drone, chances are it's going to be from DJI. There are two main ways of getting the live video feed out of your DJI drone. The first is to use a hardwired connection. So there are controllers that DJI have that allow you to take a HDMI feed from the controller directly into your capture card. So that's going to be the best and lowest latency way of getting live video from your drone. Secondly, you can also send a stream from your controller or the app that allow you to send out the video feed over RTMP. So you can set up a custom RTMP local server and then take the output from that into vMix. Now you can also send it to YouTube or Facebook, but if you wanna mix it in vMix, you'll need to have a custom RTMP server. So we're gonna briefly go over those two methods in this video. DJI have the option on some of their controllers to output the drone's camera via HDMI. Now this is going to give you the easiest way to get a high quality feed directly out of your drone and into your capture device. Now we purchased a Mavic 2 last year, this one here. And we also bought the DJI Smart Controller, which has HDMI output. So when looking for a drone, make sure that it's compatible with a controller that allows you to have a HDMI output. Now, unfortunately, DJI change models and technologies all the time. So the current Mavic, which is the Mavic 3 and maybe the Mavic 4 or 5 by the time you watch this video, uses a totally new system and with a new controller as well. Now that controller is called the DJI RC Pro and that's an extra $1,300 extra. Now using the HDMI output from your controller is going to be the best way to get reliable video feed from your drone. Now all you need to do is then take it out from the HDMI port, then plug it into your capture device and then add it to your vMix production. Now in our case, we use a Magewell HDMI to NDI converter so that we can have the drone footage on the network and use it wherever we're producing from. So we can have somebody out in a different location, but as long as they're connected to the network, we can then see the footage. Now, if you are feeling just a little bit adventurous like Heath here, then another way of capturing your drone's video feed would be to set up a local RTMP server. You can then send your video feed from the drone via an RTMP stream to the server and then use the server output in vMix. Now vMix isn't an RTMP server, so you will need to install one in order to create a place to stream to. So once you've got your local RTMP server set up, you just grab the stream URL and the stream name and enter that into your DJI settings. So once you've got your drone sending your video feed to your server, you just need to output from that server into vMix. Now different RTMP servers use different streaming protocols like RTSP, RTMP, SRT, NDI, TCP, or RESPECT. So once you've done that, you'll just need to enter that into vMix via the streaming settings or via NDI, depending on how you're doing it. So this is what I've got set up. This is the RTMP mini server that I'm running on a laptop here so that I can send the drone to it. So what I need to do is get the server URL up here, and then I just need to grab the stream name down here and enter that into my DJI. So here's my DJI settings. I click on the custom RTMP, I enter that URL from my mini server. So once you get that started, you'll see in the top left that it's connected and it is sending through. So now I head back to my RTMP mini server to make sure that there's data flowing through. As you can see, the light's gone green now and there is data flowing through, which means there is video coming from the drone into the server. And now I can output it via a stream and in this case, NDI into vMix. So we'll make sure that Heath's fired everything up and uh, I'll show you a really quick example of adding the RTMP server into vMix. So are you good to go, Heath? Yeah, good to go. All right, cool. So what I'm gonna do is go to add input and then I'm gonna go to NDI because the mini server spits out an NDI feed. I'm gonna click on this here and I'm going to click OK. Now, as you can see, Heath is now walking down the stairs. So he's currently using that feed coming in. Now that it's gonna be a little bit spotty because our Wi-Fi kind of changes positions as he's uh, going down. So the Wi-Fi should be a little bit better closer to that window. Now there are a number of free and paid RTMP servers out there like Nimble Streamer, RTMP Mini Server, Nginx, RTMP or Mist, just to name a few. So it's up to you if you wanna try these out and grab a stream from those into vMix. Now, if you had a different type of stream, you could go to add input, 
and then select stream if you had maybe an RTSP, RTMP, SRT or something that you wanted to add from your server. All right, so now we're doing this all in a real time. Uh, Heath has gone ahead and he is now adding the controller and he's connected that up to the Magewell device. So now I'm going to ditch the RTMP feed from my production here, I'm gonna close this down. And then I'm going to switch over to the Magewell, which is down the bottom here. And now we can see the drone in the production. So Heath is now flying the drone out the window. So that's going out of the controller via HDMI. And then he's bringing that on to our network using the Magewell converter. So we're using the controller to output HDMI to NDI as I'm quite a distance away from where Heath is as you saw him going down the stairs. So I could very easily just be using HDMI in my production or perhaps going HDMI to SDI using a converter if you have a long run of SDI cabling in your location. Now we found that the direct video from the controller is going to be higher quality and lower latency than using a stream or an RTMP method. Now I'm sure that there may be some other ways to extract streams out of the DJI, but nothing really is official besides these sort of methods. So we kind of stick to these. There's probably some hacks on ways to get different things out, but this is how we like to do it. Try and keep it above board with most things. So these HDMI output controllers are far more expensive than the regular controller options, but you do get that great HDMI feed out. And you also don't have to worry about using your phone as a part of the control. You've got a dedicated controller. Now, if you already have a drone and you don't wanna buy a fancy controller or you don't have one, then you could try out the RTMP server method and see how you go. There's plenty of information online from these different server places and even on our forums as well. So when using either of these methods, it's always best to follow the three rules of live streaming. To test, test, and test again. Now, if you are using drones in your production, feel free to drop us a comment. Let us know what kind of drone you've got, you know, what kind of capture method you're using and what sort of events you use drones for. I always find it interesting to see how people are using drones for live video production. Now, if you are just getting started, please make sure that you're fully licensed to be using your drone for your production and that sort of thing. Make sure that you're obeying all of the appropriate laws and everything as well. Now, if you do have a better method for capturing footage via your drone, please let us know and so we can take a look at that as well. Now, if you'd like to try out vMix, you can download and use our 60-day trial via our website, vmix.com. There you'll also find recommended equipment and different computers and stuff that we have built. Now, if you go to our support page, you can send us an email if you do have any support inquiries or any sort of questions about vMix. We have a great support staff who will get back to you pretty quickly. All right, so thanks for watching and we will stream you later. Take me away, Heath, fly me away. Bye.